How's it going everybody, Mr. Beers here, and welcome to a horror game called The Park. Now, in case you guys do not know, this is a game about you, where you play as a mother who has lost her son in a park. Now, this park is abandoned long since I think it has been abandoned, and also, it's more of a... If you guys watched me play The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, Ethan Carter, it is more like that with the uh, type of walking around, but this has a more creepy atmosphere than The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, and supposedly there's a couple of jump scares in this, now you would suspect that because it's a horror game, but like I was saying, it has more of a darker, more scary atmosphere, but you do walk around, it's like a free roam game where you have to like figure out basically what happened to your son find clues and all that it is a short game so I'm, this probably will only be three or four or 30 minute episodes but i'm ready to jump right into this guys i hope you will enjoy this series i hope i'll enjoy this series and let's get started also it is halloween night the park is a narrative experience best played in a dark room wearing headphones check and deals with surrounding matter that may be disturbing to some players during the course of play the park may manipulate graphics audio control settings and your sanity this is perfectly normal and should not be any cause for alarm or psych psychiatry also like i was saying before um what was i gonna say now oh yeah it's halloween night so if you hear a doorbell go off which you shouldn't my mic shouldn't pick that up but it is halloween night and my dogs may bark if they hear the doorbell come off, but go off, I mean, not come, come off. Mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. And we, stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. And we are that's the protagonist right here. Uh we are this lady, and that's our son, I guess. Right now the graphics and visuals look pretty good, I have to say. It's looking pretty good. Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Oh what? You see that? Interact with objects in the world. Okay. Examine plaque. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solemn Island. The people who use their talents to bring out the dream of Nathaniel winter to life. May this park be a place where you enjoy laughter and are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after dedicating the first day of... M First day of May 1977. So, Callum was born 1977. What? It's her necklace, like a hatchet. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Guy seems so serious about it. He's like, it's just a teddy bear. And that guy's like... Like, that's not really what I was freaking out about, I don't think. Callum, where are you going? Come on, Mommy! Oh. Callum! It provides audio car. and visual way, clues. So we can read this. Uh, welcome to Island Park. I'm sorry, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> I'll read all the other notes, but that one... Oh, Callum, there he is. I told you to wait in the car. Over here. There's but, something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other... Anything we might dare to dream. I can't move forward, by it's the no way. no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. It's a little weird. Have a safe journey home. But, 
By the way, like I was just saying, I can't really, I'm not going to read something like that, because that's just a flyer telling you about the park, and I don't think it's really anything too special. So, but if it's any other note of a different sort, I will read it, and what the fuck? I don't think that really happens normally. That seems a little wonk, wouldn't you say? Let me get a screenshot of that. And I really don't like that noise either. Jeez. Oh god. The park. What happened here? Shift toggle to run. Okay. Oh, what? Stop! Kill him! Get back here, Callum. Don't you run into there. Oh, you mother lover. I fucking ran into there. After I told him not to. I can't see crap. I gotta find a flashlight or something. I know you can get a flashlight. Callum, come back here right now. Because I saw a, uh... An achievement for finding the flashlight. Seeing a game like this, that's short and there's not much to it, it's gonna be, uh... Stop! Kill him! Probably be pretty easy to find a, uh, flashlight. Or, like, to get those achievements. By the way, I noticed right off the bat that this may be a little guided, because you can't go through there. With the Vanishing of the Carter, nothing guided you at all. You were just thrown in there. And you were there to explore, free of your own will. This seems like it holds your hand a little more. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Which isn't a bad thing. Over here. The hell, Callum? I don't like that at all. Callum! Where did you go? Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. I don't know who that is, by the way. It's pretty terrifying, I'd say. I need a flashlight though. Come out, sweetie. Catch me, mommy. Fuck off, kid. Come out, sweetie. Over here. I'm guessing he is not over here. Screw it, I'm going into that haunted house. I'm sorry. I don't want to stray too far away from where I'm going, because it looks like I actually could go through here. The only fear, my only fear is that I don't have a flashlight, so I don't know what the, I don't know what could happen if I go in there without a flashlight. Oh, I thought that was a flashlight. Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Yeah, okay. As I suspected. Where are you? Come on, this way. Gotta go back this way. I figured. I was gonna say, as I walked in there, not, it didn't get much lighter. And I was like, okay, I probably can't go through there. But so far, I'm liking it. Visuals are great. Audio is pretty good. I like it. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Bioshock in a way. Oh, what? Wait, Callum. This way. I think this belongs to Callum. Callum. Oh, I can examine all Tell this now. Chad the Chipmunk welcomes you to the Atlantic Just Island Park. You can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. Sideshow Alley, 1 a.m. to the Octrain, 3 p.m. Park. Chad the Chipmunk worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Callum. What? Callum, where are you? You hear that? I'm hearing really fucking creepy noises coming from that. What is this about? Per oh crap! Purchase the land or or a solemn island for Prytons. I wrote. I might add whatever old Archie Henderson did take to locals. Just a mention of his name. People slam doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived the island. 
My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to my to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the sale here is bitter with the curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible, dark things to land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his ep by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and there will see in the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I can Im I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is a sort of this is the start of an amazing thing. But there's really weird creepy whispering Callum? coming from that uh speaker it's pretty scary come back this way mommy Callum, why don't you listen to me and like oh my gosh Callum, you're really making me mad excuse me i'm not liking Callum at this point what the fuck was that you hear that shit? Callum, stay where you are. Wait for mommy. I sure as hell heard it. Callum. Come on, mommy. Yeah, come on, mommy. Oh, mother lover, no. Oh, there go my dogs. Don't know if you guys can hear that or not. All right, can I hop in this? You know, why not? Let's ride the swan, guys. What else do we have? Okay, I hope my dog shut up. I still don't have a flashlight, so I can't go into that horror house, can I? This is a nice ride, I'd say. So far, I feel like I might like this better than the Vanishing of Ethan Cotter. I don't know about better... But it does seem to be more, uh, better voiceovers or more voiceovers, and looks like there's a person back there. And, uh, the atmosphere is a lot darker, but it, then again, it's like opposite of Ethan Carter in a way. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow what? and abandon them there. No, my wife. Alan, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. This is actually really cool so far. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow What's the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found Achievement that the door unlocked. was locked. Chad. Tomorrow I will take okay. them to the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. I want to try to... In the morning, their mother gave uh, them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. I want to try to unlock all the achievements because there's not a lot. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days.
Next part, please. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Okay. How long is this ride gonna be? I'm enjoying it, don't get me wrong, I'm just curious. <laughs> Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, Followed. Oh, what? Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a okay, what's happening? and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused oh, to way out. There we go. Fearing the day that the witch would eat him, the witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said. The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. That was a neat little story, and wasn't then, it? Because even children can't survive on sweets, oh, they Lord. divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I don't remember that part of the story been a while though so I can't exactly say okay then I don't know what that like whoa no what okay um yeah that's great Mm. Oh, I can see my legs. I think I was saying before. Um, what was I saying before? I have no idea. Yeah, fuck you. Stupid ass joke. Callum, where are you? Swans, gingerbread, and chocolate. Hansel and, and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children, the whole world against them, the forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places. 
where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay. Callum, why did you go? Don't hide from me, Callum. Okay. Another accident. This place. Oh, there's blood. Hello. What? Okay. That's great. Yeah, don't get too loud, please. Am I missing anything? Oh, a giant teddy bear with blood everywhere. That's great. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is, is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly really worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduce that that was needed from the band weddings. Writings of Archie and Henderson. Excuse me. It's astonishing to think that a renaissance of a, res a resonance of position, positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative used negative and that caused some of the taint that still ginger lingers in this place i will not make him his mistakes very soon i will know if this has all been for nothing this isn't a game callum yeah callum oh my gosh i don't like this at all i do like the frequent saves though it's pretty nice mommy needs to see you callum Wait for mommy. You what? what? The fuck? I don't like this. Callum, stay where you are. Where did you go? Mother Duck said quack 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 quack. Oh, uh, Mother Duck did not say quack 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 quack. Callum, where'd you go? Uh, okay. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. <laughs> make me dizzy. Examine report. Snapped. Those poor kids. What? Uh, witness. Wait, officer on duty, sheriff. Atlantic Island Park incident. Statement. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making... A night in ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyways, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first, thought he was making some animal. It's like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more ice fell away. When you first looked, it was like a human face, smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart began to beat just a little bit faster like we were pretty and that thing in the ice was a hunter but then but then the teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chimmunk suit and then well he went berserk for a few moments it was chaos everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and was stabbing and stabbing and stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying people were screaming and frank and i had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could and the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids has landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. What the fuck? What the heck? That is so messed up. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Catch you. Where are you? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> Me and Callum. She doesn't look too happy. It looks like, what the hell is that? Family ties. What is that thing, guys? You see that? Holy crap. Um. Callum! Where did you go? Ride Octotron. So let's decrease the speed. Callum? I 
can't get on while it's moving. Okay, I'm really not liking this guy. Something's gonna, something bad's gonna happen. Let's decrease it more, and more, more, and more. Okay, there we go. Sorry if you can hear my dogs barking again. Why am I on this thing, by the way? Shouldn't I be looking for my son instead of going on this thing? It's getting pretty fast. And who's controlling this thing anyways? And it's old. And why was it running when it's abandoned? Oh! Oh! What the heck? What is that thing? Oh no. What the hell was that thing? No way, no, 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 no. No. What the heck was that thing? It was huge too. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, get me off of this thing, please. I'd like to get off. What? What was that? Someone was in that booth. Someone was in that booth. No, I'm not riding that thing again. Can I ride it again? Oh, no, I can't. I don't want... No, no, no. I don't want to ride it again. Uh... Alright, guys. I guess I'm riding this again. Um... But I'm gonna wait till it goes around the booth. I wanna see if we can see the guy in there. Cause there was someone in there. You can't really see until it slows down. I'll keep it running in case something uh good happens. But I don't think anything good is gonna happen. Not again at least. Okay, no, it, nothing good happens. It just slows back down. Okay. But see, there's someone in there. There's someone controlling it. Look at that. You can see that. There's someone in there. Who the heck is it? Or what is it? I'm trying to... I'm leaning in to get a good look. That thing does not look good. It does not look good. I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. I'm not riding that thing again, though. That's for sure. I gotta find a flashlight, though. You? you mother lover. I sure as hell can't catch you, and I will. I gotta find a flashlight, though. I still have the House of Horrors Treachery to go into. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing, and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought oh crap guys there, there's someone in there you see that tell me you see that guys there's someone in there okay guys I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun but the end of the season really drags there aren't many tourists around here, and so many of the staff spent their days standing and gossiping. And most of the gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See? Even I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's got name suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve the local luscious, Chad the chipmunk, child friendly mascot, the Atlantic Island Park, looking up in the daughters, all of you. Looking up your daughters and all of that, but he, 
The more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things like refusing to change out a suit at work and taking it home with him every day. And then I saw him at Susie's dinner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even at work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since last time I saw him. Puking up in a gutter outside the cycle station because I sure as hell can cover a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice stove, they're giving me the creeps. Steve came to the booth today, lucky me, and he still just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. I, I fucking me. Whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there, not saying anything. Actually, I called my supervisor and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Whoa! I told you there was people in there. Come back, Callum. I told you there was people in there. No. Holy crap. Okay. Well, that's excitement for that's enough excitement for one episode, guys. Oh man, what the heck was that? Anyways. You see that? There was a person in there, man. Hello? This person in there. Come to Anyways, I'm gonna do it for this episode, guys. I'm loving this game. It's really great. There's some good jump scares. Storyline's really good. The narrative, everything. I'm loving it. As always, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see some more content. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.